Hey folks, it is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Disregard the shirt, but it is the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan here on YouTube. And we're going to talk real quick the Kenny Omega segment that we saw and a little bit of Tony Khan as well. So if it's your first time here, consider be becoming a subscriber. If you're not familiar with the Impact Wrestling product, this is the place to do it. Got great uploads, great content, great podcasts, and uh, we do it better than anybody else. I can promise you that. So let's talk about the Kenny Omega segment at the very end of the show. Uh, I really like this. This was this was good. First of all, this was a good episode of Impact. Even Josh Matthews brought it on commentary. Uh, much better than we normally hear from him. Not a bunch of corny jokes, nothing like that. Just, just a good show. The wrestling was good. I thought the flow was good. I just enjoyed the show quite a bit. But this segment at the end with Kenny... This was really entertaining. I would, of course, you know me, I would have rather Matt Stryker came out and did this uh, this interview, but we got Josh out there doing it. You know, I've actually, I actually thought he played his role well. Now, before this happened, Rich Swan is attempting to leave the building, and he's not on the list. And uh, they, too, they, you know, they said, well, the champ is out there. First, he thought they were referring to Moose. He said that he's not a real champion. So, no, Kenny Omega. So, they would not let Rich Swan leave the building. So really interesting wrinkle here because that that allows us to start to fantasy book a little bit. Like, are we going to get a Rich Swan versus Kenny Omega match? Okay. So they go in, into the back and, uh, you know, they did a good job teasing this throughout the show. They go in the back and there's the, the RV and uh, very luxurious, very nice. So Josh goes out there, he steps in, does the little interview and Don Callis you guys know who, who've been following me for a while. I have complained about Don Callis' commentary on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, I always say he's the worst color commentator <laughs> I've ever heard. And I just found out he follows me on Twitter, so my bad. Anyway, um, what he did here uh, was the single best thing I've ever seen or heard from Don Callis. The promo he was cutting, you know, because my big problem with him on commentary was that he was like a baby face one match, heel the next, trying to be funny, then he goes serious. I, you know, I always say he was a flip flopper, and uh, what he did here was was good. Uh, as a and Kenny Omega's part was really good as well, but Don Callis is jo roles a mouthpiece in here was excellent. You know, taking off the the Don John Moxley nameplates. You know, making the Dean Ambrose joke. Uh, everything Don here did was excellent. Kenny Omega's part was excellent. It was really well done. And, uh, you know, they're going back and forth talking about Impact Dynamite, Impact Dynamite. And the thing is, you know, Don was like, we're going to shock the world when we show up. I think it was shocking because it was just crazy. We're seeing Kenny Omega on Impact Wrestling Television. But did they make an announcement of any sorts? No. He kind of semi... He looked like Kenny seemed like he was leading towards saying he was going to challenge Rich Swan, but then he kind of backed off it a little bit. So he kind of teased that you know I might be interested in wrestling for some of these championships, but but didn't really you know didn't really bite. You know he he put it out there a little bit, didn't go all the way, um, but it was really good, folks. And um, they're doing an encore presentation on YouTube. And I know Twitter and Twitter, I'm sorry, Twitch, when last I checked, was up to about 40, 45,000 viewers on there. And I watch on Access TV, so I, I don't know what it is on a weekly basis, but I, the one or two times I've had to watch on Twitch, I think it was only a couple thousand. I know it used to be about 10 when they debuted on Twitch, but most people seem to watch on television. So um, that was good. It's going to be interesting to see what the YouTube numbers look like and then what the Access TV numbers look like. But they... They did what I've always said is really good in marketing is, is bouncing off platforms. And they were at AEW last week. They bounced people over to Impact this week. And then they're bouncing people over to AEW tomorrow. Obviously, AEW has a much bigger fan base here in the United States, much bigger viewership. But you still want to bounce people over because there's some people who do only watch Impact. You know, so it is it is. Um, it is important to get some of those people over. Now, with that being said, Tony Khan had a segment where he, he purchased an ad. He was with Tony Schiavone. It, it was kind of funny, kind of hokey, but it worked. And um, he, he ran down the AEW Dynamite card, which is also a really good card. So the Impact card tonight was excellent. And then the AEW card coming up is, is going to be really good, too. So 
Uh, if you don't watch AEW and you're an Impact fan, like it, it's a good show. It's a great show every week. If you don't watch Impact and you're an AEW guy, Impact puts on really, really good shows as well. So um, you really can't go wrong either way. But it's very important to Impact to see someone high profile like Tony Khan also getting on there and getting involved in this. So that segment was cool with Tony and uh, Tony Khan and Tony Schiavone. Just realized both are the same first name. And then... Um, Everything with, with Omega. So no announcement was made. They kind of bounced people over to Dynamite and teased that something, some kind of announcement would be made there. They didn't pull the trigger on a Rich Swan thing. I think there's going to be a slow burn uh, to that if it happens because there was obviously Swan was part of this segment. Um, but Swan's a new world champion for Impact, so there's a little more they got to build with him in the meantime, I think, before he, we, we can you know, make this thing with Omega happen. But slow build. I think that is the way to do it. So leave your thoughts in the comments on what you thought about it. Again, if it's your first time here, it's the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans who want to consider becoming a subscriber. Uh, we got a Cool Factor podcast coming out really, really soon. We're going to be talking about this episode in depth. I think we're going to get real in depth with this one. And uh, that's all I got to say. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I am your boy BQ, and I'm out. Peace.